Man, it has been quite the week. I am not one to uh, wish time away by any means, but I'm pretty relieved that tomorrow's Friday. With it being Friday, tomorrow, which means would make it today Thursday, which would mean welcome back to another episode of Tea Time Talks with your boy DJP. It's been a while since we did a little last time of our little uh, tea time chat. It's been a couple of weeks, but I took some time off to relax and get a few things that I had to get taken care of. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Today we are sipping a delightful uh, lavender tea from Buddha Tea. Um, if you've never had lavender or don't know what it is, I'd recommend you trying it out in either a tea or a fragrant of some sort, a true lavender scent, I should say. It is beyond refreshing and beyond calming if you are super super angry and you smell some lavender you're probably still going to be super super angry but at least you'll have a pleasant smell so shout out to you buddha teas appreciating the nice lavender tea as it's as it's winding down the uh the night is coming to an end i'm gonna do a wrap this up with some closing thoughts with my our tea time discussion today but besides the point, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all having a fantastic week, a terrific week, a tremendous week. I hope you're having a, a good day and uh, getting some things done that you need to get done and accomplishing your goals and chasing your dreams more important than anything and persevering in life. Um, it has been a delightful uh, week with weather over here in the Chicagoland area. We have been hitting, I want to say the mid 40s and uh, it's supposed to be hitting that for the next couple of days. I know tomorrow we, in Chicago, it's going to be, I think, 48 or 50 on Saturday. So not tomorrow, Saturday. So any, anyways, if you're around, if you're enjoying some good weather and for all the people in Florida, don't rub it in our face. Enjoy the beach while you can. All right. But for my people in the Midwest, for my people on the East Coast, or in, especially people out in Texas, if you're on Texas, we're praying for you up here for real. Uh, that is definitely no joke what they're going through. So uh, we're thinking about you, Texas. Shout out to Texas, where things are bigger and better and stronger from what I'm hearing. And, you know, with the support you guys are all having together down there, uh, we definitely cheers you. And we hope and pray that things are going, uh, picking up your uh, your way sooner than later. So cheers to you, Texas. Anyways, today, what is the topic? What is the tea time talking about, Deej? Uh, it's going to be a nice, brief video. I'm here to talk to you about the benefits and why we should be more open to constructive criticism right? Oh my gosh, there's the word criticism. I don't want to hear that because we hear constructive, we hear criticism, and we think confrontational. And neither of them are confrontational, period. And if you're talking about criticism by itself, that's a different story. But today we're talking about constructive criticism and you and why you should be more open to the feedback to improve yourself, improve where you're going in life, improve your career, improve yourself, improve life in general, right? So, and again, I've walked the fine line because when I talk sometimes about this, I, I feel like uh, it's like one of those boomers. Like, ah, today's generation doesn't understand the constructive criticism. And I don't know why I'm talking like from the South. No offense to the people in the South. Um, but you know what I'm talking about. I used to work 80 hours a week and no one wants to hear this and that and the other thing, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going that route. I'm just talking about today's in general society. We often refrain from giving constructive criticism and we off, we also often refrain from listening to constructive criticism because in my experience of listening to constructive criticism, if you're getting it, the odds are your reply is going to be, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just a whole bunch of nod, shaking your head, becoming a yes man and saying, yes, I know. But the reality is if you know, you wouldn't have done it. So it's time. It's really important to, to listen and learn, right? We're always so quick to talk and be able to get our thoughts out. But when we want to hear, when we hear, when we're hearing, when we're on the receiving end of that, like Randy Moss, we don't want to hear it. We don't want to listen to what others have to say, right? And by doing that, by telling the society and the and, and the world that, hey, what you're telling me, I'm not listening to because I essentially know everything. And the reality is we don't know everything, right? We're all learning. We're all masters of our own craft, but we work together in unison, hopefully, in our careers, our jobs, and other people that we uh, that we mingle with, that we talk, that we uh, collaborate with. So it's important to listen to what they have to say because guess what? They're probably some smart MFers too, and they've got some cool things that you don't know about, just as you probably have some cool things that they might know about. So when you're going throughout your day-to-day -day operation, whatever it might be, I'll give you an example. I work in education. When I When another educator comes to me with some advice or a little tidbit or a little constructive criticism on, on something I did, 
It's important to listen to what they have to say. Does that mean they're right? No, not at all. But what you're doing is you're listening to their tools, right? Words are tools, right? You're listening to what someone's giving you out of their mind, out of their brain. They're communicating from their thoughts into their words and it's going into your ear and you're listening. You can choose to use it or, or dis, uh, discard it, right? But it's still important to listen to it because not everything that they are giving you might be good, but little pieces can be really beneficial to your day-to-day -day operations. Now, listening to that is important because you want to ultimately level up, right? You don't want to be walking the same path through your entire life. You want to be hitting those levels. You want to be climbing those stairs, Mount Everest, trying to reach the top, living your best life, and doing the best of your ability, right? And we can't do that without listening to other people, what they might have to say, their input on our area of whatever we might be working on. So let me, give me one second. Let me get a little sip here. My, my mouth's running a little dry talking so much. So wherever you're at, whatever you're doing in life, it's important to listen to what others have to say. Don't get upset. Don't get offended. It, don't take it personal. Don't, don't dwell on it. I feel that's, again, where that's where a lot of our anxiety in our today's society comes with. Anxiety in today's society. That might be another segment. I don't know. I'm getting ahead of myself, but that's what I'm talking about. When we start to build up these thoughts in our head, like, oh my gosh, that person came here and said that I was doing something that I should have been something different. And then you start to build this whole pattern of anxiety in your head and you're driving yourself crazy and you don't know what to do. And then you're lying awake at three in the morning thinking about what happened, right? You don't want that. You want to be catching those Z's at three o'clock in the morning, not worrying about what happened earlier in the day. So some key, key components when you're on the receiving end of that constructive criticism. Listen to what is being said to you. Interpret it. See what you like. See what might be beneficial in your upcoming days or your upcoming activities. And then just disregard whatever you might not need anymore. You don't got to take offense to it. Don't get upset at the person. Don't feel that person doesn't like you anymore. Ultimately, if you're giving someone constructive criticism, you're trying to help them out, right? That's basically boiling down what constructive criticism actually is. So... Be open to it. Listen to feedback. Better yourself. It's going to get you far in life. I promise you that. And taking, uh, taking the route to the other direction, don't be afraid to give constructive criticism either. If you are working with somebody and you see that there's something going on that uh, you might have experienced before, because usually a lot of this stuff comes with experience. Like, hey, I, you know what? I see what you're doing. I used to do that as well. But this is what worked for me. It is okay to do that because that's how our society goes around and around. That's what the world goes go the world goes around. But we should be helping each other learn and striving to become better versions of ourselves. So I am at eight minutes and three seconds on this video. I do not want to go over ten minutes for this video. I wanted to keep it below ten. I wanted to give you a little brief chat, a little a little something just been on my mind, a little pondering, a little a little, a little uh, food for thought, hit for tat. If you all have some suggestions of a topic you would like me to cover on Tea Time Talks with DJP, you can comment below. Let me know. Let me know what you think. I'm open to any and all comments or conversation pieces as well. I think this is a great idea for uh, all of us to learn from each other, engage with one another, and communicate. That's what life's about. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. That's all I got for you guys. I want you to enjoy your weekend. I'm going to be back with some hot content coming up sooner than later and you know how we do this thing you know, you know how we close this bad boy out it's your boy djp straight out of the garden follow like subscribe share comment do it all help your boy out until next time stay healthy stay happening stay hydrated my friends it's your boy djp over and out